Household chores. It's a dirty job, but uh, well, you know the rest. Household chores are just things we have to do on an everyday basis. However, they can be a little more difficult after losing your sight. And one such chore that is pretty difficult is sweeping the floor. So today, in this video, I've got a few tips for sweeping and how to do it effectively. What's up VIPs, Derek here back with another video. And like I said, household chores are, well, annoying, aren't they? Nobody loves to do household chores, unless you're the type of person who finds it cathartic and helps you relieve some of the tension in your life. So I say, hey, go for it. But as for me, I don't love chores. However, I live in a house, I'm part of a family, I've gotta do household chores. And one of the chores that is always challenging is sweeping, because I can't see the dirt on the floor, I don't know where sweeping is, I don't know what's happening. So I thought, how am I gonna do this? And I've come up with a few tips, and today I wanna give you those tips to maybe help you out when you have to sweep your floor. By the way, if you're new around here, my name is Derek, and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. If you're interested in learning more about how to live your life to the fullest as a visually impaired person or a sighted supporter, well, go ahead and get started by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you don't miss another single video. All right, so let's jump into it. My first tip is to sweep small areas at a time. Now here in my house, we have a, an open concept and I've got hardwood floors in the dining area, in the living area, in the kitchen, down the hallway, and there's no way I can sweep all of that at once. Now you might say, well, maybe you've got to sweep all of it in a day. But the thing is, I'm not going to plan to sweep the entire thing at once. I'm gonna start with a small area. So maybe I'm just gonna start with this area right here. I'm just gonna sweep this area, and that's what I'm gonna finish before I move on to something else. That way, I'm not getting lost and forgetting, did I get over here? Because when you can't see the dirt, and you don't have that big pile to notice, it, it can be a little more difficult. So find yourself a small area to start with, and finish that before moving on to the next area. Second tip is to create a square or kind of grid pattern. So in this area, it's nice because it can be pretty square. So I might just take a small section right here, and this is a kind of square or rectangle. So what I do is I just start up against the edge of the wall, and I sweep, and then I just move in sort of a line grid pattern to where all of the dirt, or dog hair in this case, is going to be in this one area. So then I sweep it all up and I get to a place where I know the dirt is, as opposed to finding just random swatches everywhere. Find yourself a square or grid pattern, even if it's pretty small, that way you know where you swept and you can keep track of it without losing all of your dirt. Now my third tip goes right along with this and that's to pick up your dirt often. You see, when my wife sweeps, she'll sweep the kitchen and the dining room and everywhere and make a big dirt pile, or not a huge dirt pile, my house isn't that dirty, but she'll make a big dirt pile and then she'll go back with a dustpan, sweep it up and throw it away. Problem with us is I can't see that dirt pile and so I may lose track of it. Maybe I step through it or anything like that. So what I like to do is just sweep up a small area and then pick up that dirt. Sweep up another small area, pick up that dirt. It sounds like a lot of work and it, it is a little more work. However, it's a lot more effective because you're not gonna lose that big dirt pile somewhere in the middle of the floor. So go ahead and pick up the dirt with your dustpan more often than you would if you could see. My fourth tip is that uh, Swiffer can be your best friend. Now, if you don't know what a Swiffer is, it's just a small item, it's got a pad on the bottom, and then you take it and basically dust the floor. You see, a lot of times we sweep up things, and if you've already swept everything, you may be like, oh, that was great. However, there might be some little dust particles, some dog hair that was left over, and the Swiffer can go back and get a lot of that stuff. Maybe not everything, but a lot of it. And it's real easy to just Swiffer across, make that grid pattern as we talked about earlier, and just Swiffer the floor, and you'll pick up, maybe not everything, but a ton of stuff that has been left over after you swept. So go ahead, get yourself a Swiffer. It can be your best friend when you're sweeping the floor. And my final tip is to get yourself a sighted friend, family member, and let them do a sweep of the floor for you. I don't mean a literal sweep, I mean just look around and say, yeah, you got most of it, but over here, something like that. Now look, I have trouble with this sometimes too, because when I'm sweeping or when I'm doing a chore, I don't want somebody coming behind me and be like, no, you missed this, you missed this, I get it. But when you can't see, and especially when you're doing a chore that is very sight intense, you might need a little help, and there's nothing wrong with that. The good news is, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. 
So have that sighted friend or family member just give you a few tips, a little bit of help as you're doing things, and they can be a huge benefit, especially at first when you're just getting started doing this kind of chore. So there are just a few tips on sweeping the floor when you have to do this household chore. Look, again, I don't think anybody loves to sweep the floor, but it's gotta be done, especially if you have pets, if you've got a lot of dust flying through the air, whatever the case is, you wanna be able to sweep the floor. So make sure you take these tips and others and go ahead and get out that broom, get out that Swiffer and uh, sweep your floor because well, it can be very rewarding when it's all done, you got the dirt in the trash can, and you have accomplished something that might be a little bit difficult, but you've done it even after losing your sight. So my question for you today is this, what tip do you have on sweeping the floor? Uh, is it one of the tips I've suggested here? Is there something else that you have learned when it comes to sweeping the floor? I would love to hear about it, and I'm sure others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, well, make sure to show your support by giving it a big thumbs up and sharing it out with somebody that you know. And like I said, if you're new around here, well, go ahead and get started by subscribing to the channel and turning on those notifications so you don't miss another single video. Thanks so much for watching wherever you are. And until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. My name's Derek, and we'll see you in the next one.